Hey guys, it's Kaylin, and if you haven't noticed, I am in a brand new setting. I moved into my dorm exactly a week ago today, and I'm officially a college student, which is the weirdest thing to say, but I guess I am now. Um, so yeah, I've been vlogging some of my experience here. I vlogged move-in day and my first day of classes, so if you want to go ahead and watch those, I can link them down below, and you can watch them. Also, thank you guys so much for a thousand subscribers. I just hit that this morning. I am so happy, so excited. So thank you all for that. I really, really appreciate it. And today's video is going to be, I don't know what I'm going to call it yet, 10 facts about high school, 10 truths about high school, kind of just like high school advice, like 10 things I wish I knew going into high school. Ooh, that's a good name. Maybe I'll do that. Anyway, so without further ado, let's get into this video. Okay guys, so this is one that I know most of you probably aren't going to believe me and you're going to say, oh, that doesn't apply to me, but let me know senior year and I promise your answer will be different. So that is, you're not going to leave with the same people that you entered high school with and that's just the cold hard truth. I think that's how it is for most people. You go into high school with your friends from middle school, your big group of friends and you're like, oh, nothing is going to change. We're going to stay best friends forever. We're going to go to college together. We're going to just stay besties forever and that is the case for some people. But for a lot of people, that's not the case, unfortunately, and people change, high, change. high school is a huge thing. You thinking to the person I was freshman year to what, who I was a couple months ago when I graduated, it's such a big difference, even compared to when I graduated to who I am now. Like, you just change, and I think it's inevitable you're going to lose some friends. So, yeah, just brace yourselves, guys. This one is also something that I'm still currently kind of learning, and that is that not everyone's going to like you. Um, if you're a people pleaser like me, you want everyone to like you. I think everyone wants everyone to like them, actually. Unless you're just like a really depressing person I who really negative. I don't know. but um, And that's something I'm still kind of learning. And in high school, you want everyone to like you. But you're going to spend four years with those people. And you're going to run into people who just don't like you for no apparent reason. And will talk shit or whatever. But you just got to deal with it. All right, number three is that it's not as hard as middle school cracks it up to be. I was talking to my friend Taylor about this last night, and at least at our middle school, they were like, oh, you're going to have so much homework. You're going to have hours upon hours of homework, and you're going to have to write in cursive in your classes, and there's going to be so much pressure, and this and that, and you're going to have no free time, and all this stuff that was complete bullshit because I... I feel like it was the same academic workload that I was getting in middle school, honestly. And so if you're going to high school thinking, holy shit, like I'm going to have a lot of work, like I'm not going to have time for myself, like any free time, I promise you it's totally manageable, at least if your high school is like my high school. And just don't freak out about it because it's not as difficult as middle school cracks it up to be, I swear. Okay, so this is one that definitely applied to me, and that is that you don't have to have a big group of friends to have fun. Um, going into middle school, I had this huge group of friends, like 12 of us, and leaving, I didn't even really have a group of friends, honestly. I just kind of like had a few friends like in that group, a few friends in this group. Um, but you don't have to have a big group of friends to have fun. Um, I think it's kind of, you feel kind of lame when you only have like two best friends. Um, but it doesn't have to be that way. Like, it, you can still have fun, just you and a couple friends. Um, yeah, so don't think you have to have a big group of friends to have fun because it, it's kind of impossible to have a bunch of people who are like don't get sick of each other and want to stay friends. That, uh, that doesn't make any sense where I was going. Anyways, yeah, you get it. Okay, this one is one that I'm pas very passionate about, and that is that you don't have to date in high school. I feel like everyone thinks that, oh, you're going to high school, like, automatically you are going to get a boyfriend at some point. Um, no, that's not true. I didn't have a boyfriend at all through high school. I didn't even have a thing with any guy through high school. I have friends that are the same way. That's just, I, it's not a big deal, but I also have friends on the other end of the spectrum who did have boyfriends in high school. And it's just, it, it, it's stupid because most of the time it's not going to work out because high school, like I said, it's such like a point of change. Like you change so much and let's be honest, guys mature a lot slower than girls. So by the time you get to college, you're probably going to be way more mature and your boyfriend's still probably going to be stuck in high school and immature and people just change. And it's not a big deal to not date in high school. I didn't do it and I think... My friends that did date in high school slash 
are dating in high school, like, it's, it's, I don't, who needs that added stress? Not me. Like, if it happens, it happens, but if it doesn't, don't beat yourself up about it because there's so many people that are in the same boat and don't waste your time, like, yearning for a boyfriend because I promise it'll happen and it'll be fine. All right, this one, actually, I've, I'm starting to realize applies to college as well, but that is that no one cares if you do or don't party. I think going to high school and college, um, you're just kind of like, oh, like, I have to party. Like, everyone parties in high school. Like, high school is kind of when you think you start drinking and this or that, and that doesn't have to be the case, and no one really cares if you party or not. I think you may think, like, oh, if people know I don't party, they'll think I'm a prude. They'll think this or that about me and honestly guys it doesn't freaking matter matter if you didn't party i didn't even go to a single party until literally my last month of high school and i even i went to a party but i didn't really party you know like i just i like playing the mom of the group there's nothing wrong with that like don't feel pressured like you have to drink or do anything like that because it's really it's not that great i it's just i i don't know it just don't feel like you have to party because i promise you can go through high school and have so much fun and not go to a single party. Okay, so these next two are about freshman year. And the first one is that freshman year matters. When I say that, I mean like grade-wise. Um, you may think, because at freshman year, college seems so far, if you're going to college, college seems so far away. And so you don't think about that C or D that you got in math. You don't think that's really going to affect you, but girl, I promise it will and it will come back to bite you in the ass. And it'll suck. So, I just I know it sucks, but just try freshman year like academically because I uh, it it's trust me. It yeah, learn from my mistakes, guys, and just try freshman year. Also going along with freshman year is that freshman year is not that bad. I feel like going into freshman year, you kind of think like you hear about like things like freshman Friday and freshmen getting put in dumpsters and you're so scared of the seniors because they seem so much bigger than you and they are but um it's it's not that at all I mean I don't think there no one really cares if you're a freshman or not honestly I mean maybe some people do that are really all about themselves and think they're so such hot shit or whatever but Really, freshman year isn't that bad, guys. I My most fun years of high school, I think, were freshman and sophomore year, honestly. And I only had a couple friends. I didn't really go to parties, but it can be so much fun just doing you and not... I don't know, but it it's not that bad, guys. I swear. If you're worried, if you're going to freshman year and you're really worried and you're like, oh, I'm going to be the low man on campus, like the low man on the totem pole, um, I promise it's you'll be fine. You will be fine. Okay guys, so this last one is the one that I could talk about for a long time, and that is that popularity doesn't matter. And I wasn't, I was far from popular in high school. I don't think I was unpopular, like I don't think I was a nerd, but I, don't, I, I, I know I wasn't like popular. And I think all schools kind of have that um, popular group, I guess you could say. And for example, my school. Um, there was about 40 people in this so-called popular group and they would all they, they called themselves like if we were it was junior year they would call themselves the junior class and then senior year it was the senior class they'd be like oh my god I have so much fun on spring break with the senior class or oh my god um like the senior class party like that's not the freaking senior class that's literally you and 40 of your closest friends getting drunk like that's not the senior class so I, sorry, that's just like a total rant. Like my, some of my friends and I, I can get really peeved about that because I think every school has that group and if you're not a part of that group, it really doesn't freaking matter. And now that I'm out of high school, I can honestly say half of the people in the senior class or freshman class at your school literally peaked in high school and I promise they're never going to be as hot, as much hot shit. Does that even make sense? As they are in high school and I can think of so many people like by name who fit into that and I promise if you're not popular in high school it's not the end of the world and I know in high school it feels like the end of the world and it and it, it you care if people like you you care if you're popular you care what people think of you but I think towards senior year it kind of starts to click like it really doesn't matter just do you and it doesn't care how many friends you have or how many parties you go to like it I, I just think in 
I, I know there's like that's just inevitable you're gonna feel that way that you have to be popular but honestly guys it really doesn't matter Okay guys, that was the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up and comment down below any videos that you want to see from me, college related, non-college related, high school related, anything like that. Just let me know and like I said, you will see a dorm tour from me in the next couple weeks. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you again for a thousand subscribers. I'm so happy and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.